So whenever a company has an accounting information system or any information system in place, it needs to capture the data and there are certain costs incurred for capturing the data within the system that we need to talk about. These costs are called data capture costs and they're simply des described as those costs incurred to collect, process and pro produce internal information that can be used to then make in decisions, right? And there's three broad categories for data capture costs which we need to cover. There's the direct data capture costs. To understand what these costs are, we first need to understand something. Whenever a company is trying to collect data, there will be certain staff members who are solely responsible, not solely responsible, but it's one of their main jobs to collect that data and enter it into the system. For example, an accountant is responsible for passing accounting entries into the accounting information system by, through which the financial statements are eventually made, right? That's part of his main job description. There's those tasks, but then there's other sources of collecting information as well, okay? So direct data capture costs are those costs which relate to data input or capture for which the relevant data entry related staff, for example, the accountants, do not need to perform a data entry. So if the accountants didn't need to pass an entry for some data, but it was still captured in the system, that would be a direct data capture cost. So how would it work? For example, consider a supermarket. When you go to the checkout, what happens? The cashier scans your items based on their barcodes right so they have scanners and barcode readers based on which they scan the items and those items automatically appear in the system behind them with their price the item the quantity everything right so no one the accountant didn't have to pass entries for these sales of these items they were automatically captured by the system from another source which is basically the scanners and bar barcode readers in this case so the cost of these scanners and barcode readers and linking them to the system and which item what the barcode is for each item in the system all of those costs would be examples of direct data capture costs another example would be workers fill out time sheets for the hours they work right and again these workers mean all the workers in the organization so again it's not necessarily the workers who are responsible for entering data but these time sheets filled out by these workers will be used to calculate the labor hours and labor costs which is all information in the accounting information system again the accountants didn't enter this data the workers themselves did so once again these are direct data captured costs but what about the cost for the accountants and those staff responsible for entering data into the system? Those are called process costs, okay? So these are the costs incurred where the relevant staff input and process the data into more useful information. So the accounting transactions passed by the accountant into the system, right? And the salary being paid to staff, the HR staff might be entering information into the uh, uh, employee information system, right? All of those would be called process costs. So those go hand in hand with direct data capture costs. Finally, there's a different category which is called indirect costs. What are these? Basically, these are costs related to inefficiency, you could say that. Inefficiency and what? Inefficiency in your usage of resources such as time. So whenever you're collecting data, it's inevitable there will be mistakes, there'll be extra information which you don't need, there'll be lack of information which you need to go after, right? So for example, if you're asking customers to fill up a feedback form or suppliers to fill a form, they might give you excess information or incorrect information which you need to verify and everything. And that takes time, effort, and money in terms of business, right? So the time and resources spent uh, wasted in managing, correcting, collecting, and storing irrelevant information could be considered indirect costs, okay?